Just two Many Valley harness racing in the opening event. The seven o'clock stakes, the favourite was gilt edged at six to four. Inside the 400 and Gilt Edge is doing it well. About three metres, Sir Rival. Tism is third on the inside with nowhere to go. Right off the track then came Ken Tuck, followed by Flying Lenny. And further back in the field then came Lightning too. Around the turn and the leader was Gilt Edge. is nicely clear in front. Gilt Edge rounds the home turn in front. Getting out now as Tism is starting to flash home. Gilt Edge the leader. Tism is coming after it on the outside. Gilt Edge the leader. Tism is wearing it down on the outside. And Tism is going to get up and win by about two metres to Gilt second, third is lightning too though. Ronnie Hawkswell has been a busy boy at Mooney Valley last night. Tism is 7 to 1, Gilt Edge 6 to 4 favourite and Lightning 2 at 12 to 1. In the divided stakes, race 2, the popular pick was Brad's advice at 13 to 8. The green lights on and they're off and running once again this time and the leader was J.R. Ewing out in the centre began quickly, easing in behind them, Boydie Boy out to the tail of the field. Laverne Flyer showing pace and J.R. Ewing is spearing up on the inside to take the lead running out of the straight. It's J.R. Ewing about two metres in front of Laverne Flyer. Third over on the inside then came Narrowlight. One out, one back as Leave Us Alone. They were followed by on the inside was Mr. Marathon. Caught out wide is Timely Eagle out three deep and then came Jay Doreen. About five metres further back was Super 10. Second last Boydy Boy. And east out to the tail of the field was Brad's advice. They run down the back straight now with about 13, 50 metres to go and it's J.A. Ewing two metres in front. But on the outside there Timely Eagle second and third on the inside is Narrowlight. Racing one out and one back then came Laverne Flyer. They were followed by Mr. Marathon over on the inside of Leave Us Alone. Four or five metres to Jade Arena, about five metres further back is Super Tinge. Eight metres racing, second last, Boydy Boy. And moving up on the outside is Brad's advice. They race up around the top turn, 1,200 to go. And J.R. Ewing led by three metres. They square up for the bell. Coming down the outside is Timely Eagle doing it hard. Narrow light racing third on the inside. Then came Laverne Flyer. Over on the inside is Mr. Marathon starting a run on the outside. Leave us alone out three deep. And then came Jay Doreen. Over on the outside is Super Tins third last. Second last, Boydy Boy. And last of all on the outside is Brad's advice. They run to the back straight. 800 metres to go. They're in the final circuit now and it's J.A. Ewing leading by two metres. On the outside Timely Eagle second, Narrowlight third going well but nowhere to go followed by Laverne Flyer. Out there three deep came Leave Us Alone though followed by Super Tinge who's three wide in the centre then came Jatterine. Over on the inside is Mr. Marathon. Starting runs from the tail of the field of Boydie Boy and also Brad's advice they run down the back 500 to go and J.A. Ewing two metres in front of Timely Eagle over on the outside Leave Us Alone followed by Narrowlight Laverne Flyer Right off the track then came Boydy Boy. They were followed by Brad's advice under pressure. Over on the inside, Mr. Marathon. Around the turn now, they're working off the back straight on J.A. Ewing. Led about four metres on the outside. Leave us alone second. They were followed by Timely Eagle. Narrow light travelling well, but still can't get out around the turn. J.A. Ewing the leader. Coming down the outside, Leave us alone. Narrow light in the centre. J.A. Ewing grabbed on the outside by Leave us alone. Narrow light in the centre. Leave us alone. Took the lead. Narrow light running on, but Leave us alone. Leave us alone is won by a metre to Narrow light on J.A. Ewing third. They were followed further back in the field then by Timely Eagle and then came Mr. Marathon. They were followed further back by Jay Doreen, Boydie Boy and then came Brad's Advice and Laverne Flyer, one of the last in and company with Super Tinge. Narrow win to leave us alone at 7 to 1. Narrow light didn't appear to have a great deal of room over the final stage of second at 14s with J.A. Ewing in third spot at 9 to 2 and the favourite Brad's Advice finished at the tail of the field at 13 to 8. In the third race on the card at Mooney Valley last night, the popular pick was Frontier Fighter at 10 to 9. To go. The arms fall back and they're off and running this time and Shady Fella began quickly, showing plenty of toe there as Frontier Fighter Aaron's Idol on the inside. Racing out four deep as Channel Thunder running into the first turn and four metres further back as Rapirio. Great race for the lead, turning out of the straight now, 1,700 to go. And the favourite Frontier Fighter worked to the front by five metres Aaron's Idol. Third on the outside, Shady Fella, six metres further back as Channel Thunder. Over on the inside came Rapirio, four metres to the Dark Ones, who works up into a nice track. They were followed further back by Help Me Ronda racing on the outside of Loud and Cute. Second last, the inside at your service. And last of all, running down the back is Good Time Dancer. The far section of the track, they travelled 1,300 metres to go. And the leader was Frontier Fighter, showing out about uh, three metres clear. From the outside, Shady Fella second, Aaron's Idol third. Racing one out and one back there came Channel Thunder. Three back on the inside, Rapirio, followed by the Dark Ones. Over on the inside, Loud and Cute. They were followed by Help Me Ronda, second last. 
past the inside at your service and Good Time Dancer. Last of all, around the top turn, 1,100 metres to go. And Frontier Fighter does it well for Nicholson in front. By two metres to on the outside, Shady Fella second. Third on the inside, Aaron's Idol, though, are followed by Channel Thunder. Three back on the inside came Raperio, followed by the Dark Ones, who travels well on the run. About four back over on the inside fence there came Loud and Cute. They were followed by Help Me Ronda. Second last is at your service. And last on the outside, Good Time Dancer. Running into the back straight, 800 metres to go, and it's Frontier Fighter. On top and doing it well by two metres to Shady Fella. Third on the inside, Aaron's Idol. They were followed by Channel Thunder. Raperio pulling hard on the inside of the Dark Ones, about to make a move. They were followed by Help Me Ronda, the outside of Loud and and Kid. Good time dancer, second last and last is at your service. Running down the back, 400 to go and it's Frontier Fighter has been there from the outset. About a metre in front of Shady Fella. On the outside, Aaron's Idol third. They were followed by Channel Thunder the outside then Rapirio to Dark Ones. Help me run her off the track. Loud and Cute, nowhere to go. Good time dancer and last on the inside at your service. They race towards the top of the straight, about 200 metres to go. And the leader, Frontier Fighter under the whip from Shady Fella. Aaron's Idol comes to the outside, running on Rapirio over on the inside and loud and cute can't get a run. It's Frontier Fighter the leader from Shady Fellow. Rapirio flashing up on the inside. Frontier Fighter in front though. And Frontier Fighters one from Rapirio by a metre. Third is Shady Fellow. They were followed further back by loud and cute. That at your service the inside from Aaron's Idol. Further back on the outside is Channel Thunder then Good Time Dancer. The Dark Ones and help me run to one of the last across the line. The first of four favourites to salute the judge last night at Mooney Valley driven by Bulldog Nick and Frontier Fighter 10 to 9 and favourite Rapirio 20 to 1 and Shady Fella at threes. In the fourth event, the Meteor Stakes once again over the moving 1900 metres and Urine Pungy lasts the favourite at 7 to 2. Back and they're off and running this time and a little bit slow to begin uh, dropping out to the tail of the field. There was Change Command and showing pace was Purple Spot after the, fr after the start to go to the front and Purple Spot quickly cut down to the inside and led running into the back straight now. Around the outside is Quail Chevelle up running second and Urine Pungy Lass took the sit racing third on the inside. Out there three wide now is Jacaba racing around the outside up towards the leaders then came Key Scotch in the centre. Triple try about four back on the inside now. Racing around the outside Lockwood Road is three wide followed by Shy Mutiny. Eight metres away to Irish Lane and last of all is Change Command in the back straight now and Quell Chevelle is the leader by two metres. On the outside Jacaba second out three deep is Lockwood Road. Purple Spotters now over on the inside behind the leader. Racing one out and one back then came Key Scotch, Urine Pungy Lass. They were followed by Shy Mutiny racing on the outside. Uh, they were followed further back in the field by Triple Train. Second last on the outside is Change Command and Irish Lane is last on the fence around the top turn, 1100 to go. And Quell Chevelle about three metres Lockwood Road on the outside. Racing third is Purple Spot and they were followed by Jacaba who's racing one out and one back. Urine Pungy Lass is three back on the inside. They were followed by Key Scotch. Racing third and fourth last on the inside as triples try as they turn to the back then shy mutiny. Irish Lane second last and last is change command. Running to the back straight, 800 metres to go and it's Quell Chevelle by three metres Lockwood Road on the outside. Purple Spot is third. They were followed further back by Jacaba, one out and one back. Urin Pungy Lass is three back on the inside. They were followed by Key Scotch and then came triple try. Followed by shy mutiny, Irish Lane and last is a down the back straight change command. 500 metres to go and Quell Chevelle about two metres Lockwood Road. Purple Spot is third and then Kane Jacaba the outside. Urine Pungy Lass has nowhere to go followed by Key Scotch. Triple try on the inside. Shy Mutiny. Second last and wide as change command and last Irish Lane. Off the back straight about 250 metres to go and Lockwood Road raced up to join Quell Chevelle. Purple Spot is coming off the fence and they were followed further back by Jacaba down the outside but Lockwood Road spread it to the front and the straight. Purple Spot is the danger. It's Lockwood Lockwood Road, the leader grabbed by Purple Spot. Triple try running on. Purple Spot and Lockwood Road, they come to the line. Purple Spot on the outside. Purple Spot, I'd say. Purple Spot has just beaten Lockwood Road. Triple try flashed through on the centre of the Irish lane. They were followed further back by Jacaba. Then came Key Scotch over on the inside. Urine Pungy Lass. Quell Chevelle stopped. They were followed by Change Command, and one of the last in would be Shy Mutiny. Clever drive by Teddy Demler on Purple Scott, uh, Purple Spot, I should say, at nine to two, taking out race four from Lightwood Road or Lockwood Road second at seven to one, Triple Try third at six to one, and Urine Pungy Lace was the favourite unplaced at seven to two. We'll be back to take a look at the rest of the card of harness racing last night from Mooney Valley in just a moment. Next.
play well. It's a big day of sport here on Channel 7, of course. Later on today, we'll be taking you up to Sydney at five minutes after two for a live telecast of the match at the SCG, most important game between the Sydney Swans and Geelong. So stay with us for a great afternoon of football action here on 7. And that, of course, follows World of Sport, which comes up at 11 o'clock with Sandy Roberts, where we'll be examining all the football topics from yesterday and, indeed, all of the topics from the World of Sport in the past seven days, with, uh, in particular, a good look at what's happening at Wimbledon. Well, back to harness racing last night at Mooney Valley and race five on the card was the Universe Stakes over 1,900 metres and the favourite was Whirly Dream at five to four. Ready? Off and racing this time, and a great battle for the early lead with Whirly Dream driven hard out of the mobile. Is going to try and cross, although time's run out as driving through and keeling over on the inside. They run out of the straight though, and Whirly Dream is going to run down to the inside and lead out of the straight by six metres to Keeling. Caught on the outside is time's run out with no trail and Magic Madge got up to be fourth the inside, four metres to Henry Bruce. Here's a move now, Ira move coming out three deep on the back straight, getting onto its back there is Ombre Gold. Corfu at about 10 metres away to Ramesses last of all. They're in the back straight, they travel this time 1300 metres to go and it's Whirly Dream sailing along at the head of affairs, leading by 4 metres to Ira Moon on the outside and Keeling is third on the fence, they were followed then on the outside by Times Run Out and Armbro Gold out three deep starting to stride up as they race up the back straight, then Magic Madge about 4 metres to Henry Bruce 5 metres further back as Corfu and Ramesses last of all. Around the top turn they travel this time, 1200 100 metres to go, and Whirly Dream who showed great speed out of the mobile. Leading by two metres, Armbro Gold on the outside, then Keeling on the fence, and here comes Ramesses. Ramesses starts a great run from the tail of the field, and Andrew Peace is driving like a man possessed with a circuit left to go on the outside, and Ramesses with a great turn of pace moved up to join Whirly Dream in the lead. They lead six metres to Keeling. On the outside next is Armbro Gold. They were followed further back by Magic Madge. Over on the outside is Iramu. Then came Henry Bruce. Second last the outsiders. Time's run out and six metres Corfu. In the back straight they travel this time. 700 metres to go and Whirly Dream about two metres to Ramesses on the outside. Racing third is Magic Madge. They were followed by Keeling. Henry Bruce is three back on the inside. Then came Armbro Gold. Iramu's under pressure. They were followed by Time's run out and six metres to Corfu last of all. The lead with about 400 metres to go was Whirly Dream. Two metres in front of Ramesses on the outside. Magic Madge is third and then Keeling starting around again as Uramu on the outside. They were followed by Henry Buse, Corfu out wide and last on the fence as time's run out. They're about to round the home turn 250 to go and it's Whirly Dream the leader. Ramesses on the outside second. Magic Madge is third. Keeling and Henry Bruce starts to get clear. Whirly Dream the leader. Ramesses, Magic Madge over on the inside. Henry Bruce running on strongly but Whirly Dream is putting out plenty and Whirly Dream is going on to win. Whirly Dream first. A photo for the miners. Magic Major Ombre Gold on the outside. Then Henry Bruce. They were followed by Ramesses Corfu. Keeling second last there would be Iramu and last in was time's run out. Whirly Dream leading all the way. Five to four and holding out that challenge from Ramesses with a lap to go to take out race five from Magic Major at 50s and Ombre Gold at six to one. In the Galaxy Grand Slam final for four-year-olds, race six on the card. The favourite was Shy Atom at two to one. And 4-3-0 the leader. Pride of Hillary has the great heart on the set of still be battling away. And Shy Atom out there, three deep is running on strongly. Then AJ Victory Strike, Glenn Tucky, Woofer Caramir, Marcus Aurelius, Ripper Light and Tart off Melodious Thorn. They're about to flatten out for the run home down the Galaxy final. And on the outside, it's Shy Atom going up to take the lead from 4-3-0. Victory Strike. Stryder starting to run on strongly, but it's Shy Adam in front of Victory Strike, close to home, and a great win in the Galaxy final to Shy Adam. Shy Adam has won by two metres. Marcus Aurelius got through to run second, and Victory Stride third from. The favourite home in the Galaxy final, Shy Adam two to one. Marcus Aurelius 15s, and Victory Stride third at 12 to one. In the Trotters race seven, Game Ebony, the popular pick at three to one. They were followed by Take a Shot and over on the set of Mount James. Melanie Joy highly likely and last of all still swinging blue. Off the back straight and well presented. Moved away. Trotted clear about six or eight metres. In front of Blackwood Mac who got the second from Wayne Manor. Game Ebony losing ground. Lady Hillary held up on the inside. Then Brett Navarra, noble genius right off the track but well presented. Kicked away about 12 metres in front up the straight now from Blackwood Mac and down the outside is Brett Navarra and Lady Hillary getting clear but a great exhibition of square gating. 
by Well Presented, who won by 10 metres. Lady Hillary, the outside second, Wayne Manor third. Well Presented, trotting well to score at 7 to 2 from Lady Hillary 16s, Wayne Manor 40s, and Game Ebony, the favourite finish last at 3 to 1. In the Galactic Stakes race, 8 a long odds on favourite here in our Maestro. Quickly raced up to join Rufus Youngblood in the lead. About eight metres away then came Austin Bay. They were followed by Burt Butler, Kentucky George. And then came Telford Towers, followed by General Correspondence. And tailed off his most happy escort around the turn. Our maestro on the outsiders raced up to tackle Rufus Youngblood. Eight metres away, Austin Bay. It's our maestro starting to get the upper hand from Rufus Youngblood and Austin Bay on the outside. Our maestro calls the tune, though, close to home. And our maestro is going to win by about two metres. Austin Bay second, third as Rufus Youngblood. Well, late to one on, but just managed to get home our maestro from Austin Bay at 12s and Rufus Youngblood at 40 to 1. And so to the final event, the Milky Way Stakes over 1,900 and Coy Lass the favourite at 11 to 4. Euphoria being tapped up and then came Perfect Glassy. Shy Spinnaker third last and they were followed by Riviera Lamont and Peaches taken to the outside. About 250 metres to go. It's Lentara Country the inside in front of Leprechaun Lass and Coy Lass on the outside is starting to round them up and Perfect Lass. Lassie on the outside. Coy Lass took a narrow lead from Leprechaun Lass. Here comes Perfect Lassie down the outside. Coy Lass, Perfect Lassie kicking back as Leprechaun Lass. They come to the post and Leprechaun Lass has beaten Coy Lass in the run home. And third on the outside is Perfect Lassie. Well, that was one for the girls. Leprechaun Lass, 14 to 1. Coy Lass, 11 to 4 favourite. And Perfect Lassie at 5 to 1. The trifecta paying $197. One for the Amen Punders. Last night, the doubles had Mooney Valley. The extra double on four Levis alone and four Purple Spot, $31.45. Daily double three Frontier Fighter and five Whirly Dream, $3.45. And the Quadrilla on four, three, four and five, paid $522.40. And that was our look at harness racing last night at Mooney Valley. And that brings to a close this morning's edition of World of Sport Replay. Well, as I mentioned, we have a very big day of sport coming up in front of us. And it's a pretty cool uh, Sunday here in Melbourne. So a good day to sit in front of the television and take a look at World of Sport coming up with Sandy Roberts and then at five past two up to the Sydney Cricket Ground for the big match between the Swans and Geelong. So I hope you can stay with us right throughout the day. All my gear comes from Maple Southland. Thanks for joining us this morning on World of Sport Replay. World of Sport Replay was another Seven Sport presentation.